U.S. does not expect front line in Ukraine to collapse in near future. The U.S. has forecasted that Ukraine will manage to maintain its defense despite Russian attempts to achieve results by May the 9th, reports the New York Times. An unnamed senior American official told the New York Times that a confidential U.S. military assessment concluded that the Russians would seek to achieve marginal gains ahead of May the 9th. However, as stated in the assessment, Ukrainian defenders will not collapse on the front lines even despite the lack of ammunition. Other American officials noted that Russia likely lacks the forces for a large-scale offensive by May the 9th. To do so, the Russians would have had to significantly increase their forces, which has not been observed thus far. Meanwhile, analysts within the US government specify that Ukraine will be able to stabilize the front with the help of new weapons from allies at best by summer and at worst by the end of the year. In mid-April, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Syrsky, announced that the occupiers had been tasked with taking control of the town of Chasiv Yar in the Donetsk region by May the 9th. As reported by the spokesperson of the Operational Strategic Grouping of Troops, Kortitsia Nazar Voloshin, the enemy aims to capture the heights on which the settlement stands to continue advancing westward. Moreover, on May the 2nd, Ole Kalashnikov, an officer of the press service of the 26th Artillery Brigade, named after Roman Dashkevich, expressed confidence that the enemy would fail in the task set before them regarding Chasiv Yar. However, Vadim Skibitsky, a representative of the main directorate of intelligence, stated in an interview with The Economist that the fall of Chasiv Yar is a matter of time, as was the case with Avdiivka. Six Western fleets will have to fight with many sea drones of the Russian Navy. Autonomous attack maneuverable high-speed unmanned boats have become the newest and most serious problem for surface ships of all navies in our time. This was stated by Nick Childs, Senior Fellow for Naval and Maritime Security at the International Institute for Strategic Studies. It should be noted that International Institute for Strategic Studies is a think tank on military political conflicts with headquarters in London. At International Institute for Strategic Studies, Childs is directly responsible for the analysis and data on sea power capabilities published in the Military Balance magazine. His responsibilities also include formulating and implementing research projects and participating in other International Institute for Strategic Studies publications and activities, including conferences and consulting. He conducts examinations of maritime defense in general, as well as the navies of the United States, Russia, China and Great Britain, and other major naval powers in Europe and the Asia-Pacific region. Deals with naval and maritime policy and strategy, maritime disputes, ship capabilities, surface and underwater warfare, amphibious operations, and maritime missile defense. Childs is an authoritative and well-known Western specialist. During a recent speech, Childs said that the Russian Black Sea Fleet has suffered numerous attacks from Ukrainian sea drones. But now the Russians have some experience and their industry is able to create a large number of their own similar sea drones. Considering the potential and capabilities in the foreseeable future, groups of similar unmanned boats of the Russian Navy can become a huge threat to the Western Navy without exception. The Russian Black Sea fleet has failed to adapt to some of these challenges. In some ways, uncrewed surface ships and fighting them is not rocket science. I mean, countering anti-ship missiles is rocket science, but it has flaws that are present in Western and British Navy's training and they are much better prepared to respond to them, the experts pointed out. He emphasized that the actions of the Ukrainians opened up prospects for a potential enemy, i.e. the Russians. Soon the Russians will study this technology, begin to create swarming masses and practice various actions in exercises. This is an area where we see adversary potential where, looking to the future in terms of capabilities, accelerated development and procurement, the British Navy, Western navies in general, will have to face difficulties in terms of support and counteracting them on such a scale. He warned,